What's up, y'all? My name is Justice. If you want to get track and field scholarship, I got five things that you can do right now. All right. All right, so the first thing is to get a track and field scholarship, you need to be running the times. All right, I don't care what grades you make to first get it because the, the grades is the afterthought. All right, what a coach really wants to know is what times do you run? Like, that's why you're getting a scholarship in the first place for most of the, most of the time it is. So you have to have the right times for whatever school you want to go to. So I have a website for you. It's just called Run Recruit. It's going to be in a description box. It has almost every D1 to D3 FBS, FCS school that you can choose from. And you can pick the school and it has like the walk-on times, the tryout times, and the recruit times. So that's an easy website. So if you don't have that time, you can probably still get on the team because I, I know I know sometimes they kind of they're kind of iffy with it because I've seen some people run times at certain schools that don't run times on that website. But that's just like the general idea that the coach put on for you. So as a coach standard, he really wants you to run that time. Now grades can help, which goes to my second thing: grades. Like you got to realize. At the end of the day, you're a student athlete, okay? So you're a student first, athlete second. But you need to be good. So don't get it twisted. Like, you need to be good at what you do, like, sport-wise. But to be eligible, you need a 2.5 GPA, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's gone down to 2.0, but I believe it's still 2.5. You need a 2.5 GPA. I mean, that's a C minus. Like, come on. You, you can have a C. And I know a lot of these schools, especially, like, a lot of the bigger schools have – a lot of tutors so you can't be like I didn't have help no you 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 can choose to have help or not so you have the choice to keep making good grades but you need to make good grades first in high school so that way you can go to college because if you don't make good grades and you in high school and you make mediocre grades you might see yourself going from D1 talent that you are your D1 talent but because you don't have those grades you might have to go down to JUCO so the third thing is get yourself out there so social media you need to be putting yourself out on social media twitter facebook tiktok now uh snapchat i know they have like those snapchat global stores that they do youtube all right you need to go on youtube facebook i think i said that but facebook instagram you need to get yourself out there because social media would definitely help you reach a larger variety of coaches around the world so if you if you live in like uh i don't know wyoming if you live in Miami, but you don't want to run the Mountain West Division, and you want to run down here like SEC, uh, Sun Belt Conference USA, uh, American Athletics, so you want to come down here in the South, then you can do that because you put yourself on Instagram, and it took only one person to see you run that was from down here. So social media is the third one. Fourth thing, you need a good personality. That's really like that's really a given. Like you can't be. I mean, have you ever seen Last Chance You? It was a show. It's a show on Netflix. So, like, bad personalities have literally got people kicked off of teams. Like, you can be as good as you want, but you have a bad and negative personality, and it's, like, bringing negativity towards the atmosphere that you're trying to be in, like, track and field, like, your your teammates don't like you. They um, they can literally go to their coach and be like, hey, this guy's, like, bullying us and stuff. They can get you kicked off the team. So, you need a good personality. Just be a good person, all right? And sorry about your energy. I don't know what that was. Okay, so yeah, personality, that's the fourth thing. Now, the five, number five, the fifth and last thing that you need to do is make sure that you have consistency, all right? So, you can run a 1095 at one track meet, and then a rest of track meets you run in high 11s. You see what I'm saying? Like, that don't make sense. Like, you need to be consistent. So, like, you need to be consistently getting better because you can, I mean, I'm just going to be real. Like, it's hard to be, pick somebody that's really stagnant. Like, I would rather get somebody that's at, like, 12 flat. And he's track me. He goes, he goes from, like, 12, 11, 90, 11, 80, 11, 70, 11, 60. Because he's showing me consistency versus a guy that's running, like, 11, 20, 12, 06, 11, 50, uh, 1190 like he's going up and down back and forth I want that guy that's going like up not zigzag like a stock so 
that's gonna be the fifth thing consistency and if you like the video just make sure you like comment subscribe i have a whole bunch of more track stuff coming out because like i said this channel is everything's track all right so just make sure you subscribe to this channel turn on post notifications so you don't miss out and i'm gonna make videos for the rest of the year for you all right i got juicy stuff coming for you. i got that content coming for you all right i'm gonna have my own races coming up like me doing my own little time hacks and stuff like that so with that being said peace